again. Uh, I'm continuing the crash course in circuit theory and we just completed uh, the first analysis of the circuit where we divided the circuit up into four major quadrants or four major parts. The source, the load, the control, and transfer. Um, in order to continue, I want to continue focusing on the control section which consists of a switch and a potential meter. To better analyze this circuit, I'm going to redraw this circuit in a way that you will probably see it on most circuit diagrams. So I'll move to the next slide. And as you can see, uh, I have made uh, two rails called a VCC power rail at the top and a ground power rail at the bottom and I put my components between the two. From electric circuit theory, um, current flows from the positive to ground. So current starts here and moves downward to ground. This is the typical way that circuit diagrams are drawn for electronic systems. Most of the time the energy source or the source component is not even drawn on the diagram itself. It's usually just indicated as a value. For example, I might write 12 volts here, which means I know that 12 volts is coming from a power supply. And the energy is at 12 volts at this point with respect to the zero level or the reference down here. And as the energy progresses down towards the ground, it becomes less as it goes through each component because each component takes a little bit of energy away from the 12 volts until finally all the 12 volts is used and you end up with zero volts at the bottom. Uh, the first control element I will talk about is the switch. Uh, basically, the switch allows you to turn the circuit on and off. So it really only has two positions. Uh, right now, it's shown in the off position, which means no energy is being passed along to the lamp, which means the lamp, will, of course, will be off because it's not receiving any energy. And then I close the switch. Uh, the action would be for me to actually push a button or a slide some type of toggle switch into the closed position which allows the 12 volts to be connected to the rest of the circuit here and now current will be allowed to flow towards the lamp and thus turning on the light so what you have here is a diagram that shows you the action where at this point right here the switch is closed and then at a certain period of time the switch will be open and the circuit will be off so it only has two positions an on and an off so we call this digital and we use switches in our daily lives to operate electronic systems we're always using buttons to send information from one part of the circuit to another or to turn something on and off. So this is the first control element that's used in electronic systems that we normally study. The next control element will be the potentiometer and I'll cover that in the next video.